It's Shakespeare and Star Wars. What's not to like? I'm quite new to Ian Dutcher's Star Wars Shakespeare books. And mainly that's because I'm relatively new to Star Wars. I first watched Star Wars about a year and a half ago, fell in love with Carrie Fisher, and then kind of became very addicted to Star Wars thereafter as I watched the rest of the films. And I was looking for a novelization of the first film, and I came across Verily A New Hope, which is the, well, the first or the fourth uh, installment, if you like. And... I knew I had to read it because I also love Shakespeare. I studied Shakespeare at university. I am I was very keen to see how the characters would speak and how certain characters would come across. And having read this, I have to say, I would love to see this on stage. This would be absolutely amazing to see it performed or even redone as a film or a, a parody film. I just think it would be so incredibly fun to see. And I have to say, Shakespearean English suits C-3PO to a T. It's perfect. So I kind of want to say I'm not going to spoil anything. But at the same time, I feel like if you're interested in this book, you've probably seen A New Hope and you will therefore know the plot. So I am will try not to spoil anything, but it's, you know, you know the story. Is it true to the story? Well, Yes, for the most part. I can't say it's entirely true because I haven't seen A New Hope so many times that I could pinpoint every scene and every bit of dialogue. But it follows a very similar chronological structure with the same characters going on the same missions. And there are bits of it that obviously don't work as well. For example, the cantina is not as visual. If it was on stage, then yes, maybe. But when you're reading it in book form it's not as lively the music obviously isn't there it's not as atmospheric when reading it as a play as it would be watching it as a film obviously the main thing here is the language so the, the narrative pretty much the same you can picture everything as you're reading it if you've seen the film you can see Leia's hologram you can see R2 kind of wheeling around it's and you can see the Jawas and everything it's great it's a lot of fun the language is the bit that I was obviously most interested in and definitely suits C-3PO. I feel like Luke's language, Luke doesn't really suit Shakespearean English very much. That's not a problem with the book, you can still read it. I just think if this were to be, you know, if my dream came true and this was turned into a film or a stage play, Luke it would feel a little bit jarring to hear this kind of discourse coming out of Luke's mouth. But for the most part, it's really nice. Leia, it completely suits Leia. Leia is so witty and there's just something about that Shakespeare tongue that works so well on her lips. Absolutely brilliant. There are moments where some characters who don't speak in the film, or they speak in their own language, uh, mainly in beeps and meeps, actually have dialogue in this, which is pretty cool. We also have our chorus as the narrator, which helps to build the scene and kind of remind you of what's going on. The rhythm is is so lovely. The You know, it's really nice to read out loud. I didn't read the entire thing out loud because that would be weird even for me. But I did read bits and pieces of it out loud when I came across um, some language that I really liked. And I did read, help me Obi-Wan Kenobi. I did read that out loud. And honestly, it's great fun. If you're looking to explore Star Wars in a new way, or if like me, you've just watched the film and you're keen to read it, so you can capture those images in your mind in a different way, this is a brilliant way to do it. Do you have to be familiar with Shakespeare to understand it? It's a difficult question. Certainly you don't have to have ever read any Shakespeare, but it's not the most simple, straightforward. If you bear with me one second, I'll grab the book. Okay, I have the book. I'm going to read out a couple of lines just so you get an idea. So, well, R2-D2 says, Beep, whistle, knee, meep, squeak. I can't understand that. Um, Luke says, Good friends, take heed, the scanner doth report. A droid ahead, pray swiftly take us hence. Belike our R2-D2 there awaits. 
I wouldn't say that's overly complicated. Um, Han says, One thing is certain, we shall thinner be. I shall not lose my wit in in death's face. Um, C-3PO, O grant us help, for there are madmen here, who have e'en now to the prison level gone. If thou but hurry, thou mayst catch them there. Yeah, I, I wouldn't say it's too bad. I think you it's obviously going to be a little bit more... Or require a bit more concentration than <laughs> the average um, novel or novelization. But if you are familiar with Shakespearean language, I think you'll be perfectly fine to follow it, particularly if you are already a fan of Star Wars and know the story. I think it's great. I feel like we didn't get as much Chewbacca as I would have expected. But then I guess it's there's not much opportunity for him to say things. But don't think he doesn't have a role because he does. Really thoroughly enjoyed it. I read it in one sitting. It took me about 45 minutes to read it, maybe up to an hour. I, I cannot wait to read the next one. Truly loved it. If you are interested in Star Wars or Shakespeare or ideally both, Verily A New Hope is a great thrill and I completely recommend it. <laughs>